Hi there, in his part two of my uh, tutorial on how I created the animated map effect. So in part one, we set up our map, we added a light to the scene, we got our shadows, and uh, we added in our, our um, locator dots and the text. And we also put a camera in the scene that we can pan around and move around. Now I'm going to move our Tokyo text over this way. So, because we're very close to the edge of the map here, and I don't want to, when I animate the map, I don't want to show that, that background area. So, that allows me to move over slightly. We may also move our Bangkok text as well, over a little bit, like so. And then our spotlight, I'm also going to move, reposition a little bit, there. Okay, I'm happy with that. So, uh, one other thing, our, our text, our two texts are not quite the same color. Um, so look at our RGB values, we've got 0 0.42, 1, and 0 0.9. So let's just make sure this is the same. Point four two, point one, and point nine. Uh, was that correct? That doesn't look like it. Four two one and zero nine. Four two. Sorry, that's one, not point one. There we go. Okay, so our texts are now the same color. Um, now we, we need to draw our line between the two spots so we want to turn off our active camera and go back to the front view and we're going to grab our pen tool here we we'll go to Bezier and we're going to draw a line starting here and ending here there we have it so there's our line now we're going to want to adjust the um, ends of this, so we'll go to our inspector, select our Bezier, and the start cap and end cap we're going to change to an arrow. So see now we have an arrow on there. Um, we'll just switch back to our active camera. We'll select our Bezier and we'll drag it out here. Whoops. Uh, so we'll go back to our front view. So see here we now got end caps, which are which are arrows. Um, I want to change the color maybe of a line a little bit. Maybe we'll have our line in the same color possibly as our text. I'm not sure. Anyway, you can choose whichever color fits your particular style or theme the best. Um, now we want to adjust this line so that we can see everything. First of all, we want to bring it um, the end caps in. So we'll go to our edit points and we'll drag that around hold down the command option so that we can position it exactly where we want and the same on this side Oops. there and then you see these handles that we've got we can use that to, to curve the line a little bit so I want to actually use that because I want to make this into a bit of an S curve like this and again, we'll position it where we want. Let's just change our brush color. Again, we'll go back to red. Um, so there we go. And let's just move this a little bit closer and a little bit closer here. There, and our Bangkok text 
we'll reposition tad also okay there we go now we want to animate this line so we'll select our bezier and we go to our last point offset and we'll drag it all the way down to zero percent make sure at frame number one and we'll add a keyframe then we'll drag forwards to say 40 frames and we'll move that forward to the end there so now we've animated our line between the two locations pretty neat huh? then we'll go to our side view uh, sorry we'll go back to our active camera and we'll select our Bezier line and I want to move this outwards a little bit so we get some shadow off of that as well and there we go now we'll reposition our camera and we're going to want to animate the camera as well so we'll drag that to the beginning here and we'll turn on our record function so this would be our start point, say here, and then we drag forwards to our end point, which is Tokyo. So we're going to pan the camera up and around like so. So there's our camera movement together with our line. And that basically is how we create um, the map and animate it. Um, if you want to decrease this shadow here, that say we've got on the word Bangkok, to adjust the shadows, I'm just going to adjust the distance it is from the map. So if we drag that back a little bit, we'll get slightly less of a shadow there. And the same here then with Tokyo. We can also drag that back a little bit to control the amount of shadow that we actually get. And the same with our Bezier as well. So there we go. That is our basic setup and uh, animation of our map and how it was created. You can go over to my blog on the link, which is in the description here. And you can download the um, template file um, ready-made um, that you can bring into Motion 5 and edit yourself. I have a video tutorial that shows you the basics of editing this and um, setting it up. Um, so I hope you found this useful. Uh, don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and check out my blog for more tips and tricks for Motion 5 and Final Cut Pro X. Thanks for tuning in.